All right, what is good, guys? The AirPods are glued to the head once again. Um, I did not film anything yesterday, so I'm sorry, but I was having fun on the beach. Um, but yeah, I really don't have much to show you guys today either. Um, it's kind of getting hard to do vlog stuff because the past couple days I've really just been chilling on the beach um, with not much to show you guys. It would just be me walking and talking and that's not too enjoyable. I'll definitely have more content coming out to you guys pretty soon. After this video, I will be posting the day in the life Aruba video with like the vlog and the music. And honestly, like guys, you guys are probably gonna think wow this is like super terrible editing this is like trash but when i was watching it i had just ear to ear grin on my face because i was like i can't believe that i was able to one make <laughs> make this video because i suck at making videos but also i couldn't believe that like i was able to i guess like get to this position where I could be riding a jet ski, where I could be riding an ATV. Like that's the stuff that I would watch on YouTube two years ago. I was just like you guys, I was watching that stuff and I was like, how am I going to get there? And the fact that I'm able to actually film a video like that now, it's like, bro, that like, it, it just makes me so happy. And I think you guys can tell and just like the way that I'm talking about it, it's like, like guys, I'm new to this. Um, and it's like just crazy because I just turned profitable like two and a half years ago. And if anything, that should be showing you guys like, bro, all you guys can make it. All you guys, um, you guys have a chance, man. Um, as long as you put the time in um, and just know that, hey, this shit isn't going to be easy. But if you put the time in and actually put the work in, then bro, like that's what I did. And now you guys are able to watch a video of me who was in your position two and a half years ago and further back, right? I started this shit like four years ago and now I'm able to make these kinds of videos for you. It's just like, it's honestly just like crazy to think about, um, to think about how far I've come. Um, <laughs> like literally like getting goosebumps thinking about it because I've, I haven't actually been able to like sit down and actually think back on like, wow, like I've actually come this far. It's kind of just been gradual, like me just kind of just, oh, I have 10,000 in the bank. Oh, I have 50,000 in the bank. Oh, I have 100,000 in the bank. And I can buy what I want. I can eat where I want. I can get whatever clothes I want. I can get a cool chain from Louis Vuitton when I want, when I'm in Vegas with my friends. And it's just like, I've never actually been able to sit down and um, recognize that. And I think while making that video, I was actually able to recognize that. And it was like really touching to me. Um, and hopefully to you guys, while you're watching that, you should be thinking, this guy was in my position literally two and a half years ago. So there's hope you guys, <laughs> this isn't, this isn't, um, it's not a get rich quick scheme. You guys have to put in the time, but like while watching the video after I edited it, edited it, it, <laughs> um, I was just like, I just like had to take a deep breath. I was like, wow, I, I, I just like didn't even know what to think or what to say because I was just like smiling. I was like, I can't even believe like that I did it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all that I have for you guys today. Um, we're gonna get into some day trading top myths and truths um, about day trading and we'll kind of debunk them kind of talk about you know the real side of day trading how we can learn from it um, and how we cannot fall into some of the pitfalls that a lot of these early beginner traders like you guys fall into all right so that's it for me um, we'll just hop into the charts I'll give you guys a quick little weekly overview of what happened this week um, where my bias lays for the week weeks ahead um, and then, yeah, we'll get into the video. All right. I appreciate you guys. Peace out. All right. Well, that's good, guys. Welcome to the chart portion of the video. Like I said before, we'll do a quick little weekly overview of what I think is going to happen on the S&P 500 this week. And then we'll just jump straight into um, what we are talking about today, which is like just top five myths about day trading. Um, you know, if you have anybody tell you this kind of stuff, um, just know they're talking crazy. All right, so to start off on the weekly time frame, we broke market structure to the downside, right? If we look at the monthly time frame, we are bearish on the monthly, okay? So um, this break of weekly structure gives me 
oops, gives me confirmation that we are going to continue to the downside. And this is our next draw on liquidity because this is the previous monthly low, right? So this is where I see price coming, okay, in the near future, okay? What would I ideally like to happen first, okay? Um, <clears throat> This is what I would want to happen, okay? I have these zones marked out, okay? You're probably saying, what are all these lines? This was the weekly break of structure. We can get rid of that. This is the 50% mark on the fair value gap, okay? We can draw this out real quick, all right? Right here, okay? This is an area that price could potentially come up into and then capitulate down. Okay, and why are we looking for capitulation down? Well, we swept liquidity above here, okay, and then we broke structure, okay? So another thing, right, what did we talk about in the how to spot order blocks video, right? We sweep liquidity, we break structure. Where was the previous up candle prior to the, prior to the expansionary move down? Right here, right? This was the candle that swept liquidity and broke structure. This is our bearish order block. So ideally, I would like to see price come into here, capitulate, or see price come up into here and then capitulate. Me personally, I think that price is going to come up into this order block and then go down, but you never know, right? Price could just be super bearish. You know, we could get news that comes out. Price hits into this 50% mark of the fair value gap and then just ends up tanking, okay? Um, I talked about this last week in our Discord Zoom call. I talked about, um, okay, once we started heading upwards, I was like, all right, this is the order block that I'm looking to take a trade off of. And everybody started freaking out when, when we started, oh, How's my Wi-Fi? Okay, there we go. All right, so, um, sorry, I'm on I like terrible Wi-Fi out here. But when we started moving down, right, this was off, a new, off of news, okay? This news took out all these buyers, okay? Now, what are we doing? We're capitulating back up, okay? What are retail traders going to be doing when this double bottom gets closed above, okay? They're going to be buying, okay, right? What does this look like? A W, double bottom. They're gonna be buying right here, okay? They're going to be buying right there, okay? They might be in profit for a little bit as price comes up into this fair value gap, as price comes into um, this order block, and then goodbye. All of your all of your profits are just wiped out, stopped out, okay, as price ends up capitulating down to that monthly low that we talked about, okay? So that's my outlook on the S&P 500, okay? Keeping it nice and simple for you guys, okay? Um, sorry, my Wi-Fi is just terrible. All right, so that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now getting into the video. Okay, let's move on up here. Okay, these are, in my opinion, the top five myths. Okay, about day trading. All right, so starting off with number one day trading is gambling. Okay, you will hear almost every single person that is not a day trader or even that is a day trader tell you this that day trading is gambling. And I've said it before. Okay, there's a difference. Okay, there's a difference between me. Um, gambling and you gambling okay i am profitable within the markets i've proved to be profitable within the markets okay i make a living off of this does that mean i am gambling no it does not it means i'm placing probable trades within the market yes every now and then i will lose okay similar to gambling yes every now and then people lose people win okay but uh, imagine that versus someone who is an unprofitable day trader, okay? Someone who is an unprofitable day trader, one, does not have an edge within the market. They're not making probable trades. So yes, that's why people call it gambling, but then think about it this way. Are they even a day trader at that point? If they're not even making money, if they're not even profitable within the markets, are they even considered a day trader? No, they're not. They're not in my opinion because they don't know what they're doing. They're not profitable within the market. They're not profitable. So what I wish people would start doing is saying, hey, these people who aren't profitable yet, they are not day traders. So in my eyes, there's only a couple people, right? There's only like that 1% of people that can call themselves actual day traders, okay? So that's our first one. Day trading is not gambling if done and when done correctly, okay? And not a lot of people can do it correctly while maintaining emotions and while maintaining their edge and their strategy, okay? Number two, we talked about this last video, okay, on how to manage your risk, okay? Stop losses are most definitely necessary. I see people on TikTok, see people on Twitter saying full port, no stop. Guys, 
you're going to lose your account either way if you just keep doing this because losses are part of the market okay if you th if you think stop losses are not necessary within the market okay you are bound to blow your account at one point or another okay because you are going to lose that's a part of the market okay i lose all the time a bunch of day traders they lose all the time okay that's just a part of day trading okay you will never be 100 percent accurate within the market okay it's just our job to make like i said before probable decisions based on our strategy and while using sound emotions within the market okay so that's number two boom get it out of there all right number three you can day trade all day and make infinite amounts of money i hate i hate this one you guys i hate this one so much and uh, you will see the TikTok and the course and like the signal um, haters, like especially on my TikToks saying, hey, why do you charge for a discord if you could just day trade all day and just make a lot more money? And it's like, slow down, okay? Have you ever seen what Asian Session does? Asian Session is pure chop, little to no volume, okay? You, you can probably take one trade during Asian Session and have it hit take profit after like, two to three hours, okay, because of how slow and low the volatility is, okay? Also, for New York and London session, off of my strategy, I can only take one trade during each one of the sessions, okay? So I can only take three trades a day if I'm trading Asian, London, and New York session, okay? And that's on a Forex pair because I'm not even thinking of taking a trade during Asian or London session on a U.S. index because there's no market, there's no money being put into the U.S. indexes at that time. Okay, so I really hate this one because no, you cannot day trade all day and make infinite money. That is not how it works. Okay, like I said before, we are making probable decisions within the markets. We're taking probable trades within the markets. Okay, and does that mean we can just tap buy, tap sell, and know exactly where the market's going 24-7? No, we can't. We can we can make probable and sound decisions just like I did on the daily, weekly, and monthly chart of the S&P 500, but am I ready to take a trade off of that analysis that I just showed? Definitely not. I'm not even in a trade off of that, right? So that's where it's like you guys are so, so little-minded and so just like thick skull to be able to say, oh, you guys can just day trade all day and make infinite money. It's like, no, you really cannot. Okay. That is, that is just one of my biggest pet peeves when people say that, okay, you have to make sound and probable decisions. Okay. And that, and that includes not over trading. We literally talked about that last video. How can you reduce risk within the market? How can you risk manage yourself from the market? Whoa, where did my thing go? Sorry about that cut. Um, Wi-Fi is terrible here. Okay, so continuing, you don't, you can't day trade all day and make an infinite amount of money, okay? Number four, you do not need a lot of money to live off of day trading, okay? This is just um, very false, okay? I see a lot of people in my comment section, especially on TikTok, saying, hey, what can I do with a $1,000 account? Bro, you'll, you'll be making $10 a day, okay? Um, that's 1%, okay? Um, maybe you can make $20, maybe $30 a day, Okay, that's two to 3% a day. Okay, but then you also have to count for losses. Okay, so at the end of the month, right, every every trader's goal, at least my goal is to hit at least 10% a month. Okay, um, you're making $100 a month with a $1,000 account. Okay, so the unfortunate truth about day trading is you do need a large amount of capital okay and like i said in my past videos okay you can easily set yourself up with a funded account okay if you can prove to yourself that you are a profitable and probable day trader within the markets okay so that's how i would get around that um that kind of wage gap of like okay i know that i'm profitable i know that i'm probable i know what i'm doing okay but i don't have the funds to be able to you know actually like be making good money to make this a living boom go into the funded account do my plan that i told you guys for literally like two videos okay i go over two videos on or three videos literally how to pass a funded account challenge okay and then also new year's resolutions within trading okay and then how you would start trading as a beginner okay i go over all of that okay so you do need a lot of money to actually live off day trading i would say the minimum, okay, you need a $10,000 account. That means you're pulling in $100 a day. And even then, bro, that's like, you're you're better off working at nine to five with that type of salary. But 
you know, work that nine to five while grinding with that $10,000 account. And then, you know, eventually you'll be able to get the capital that you want and you need to be able to be making the big boy bucks. Okay. Moving on to number five tools, make the trader. Okay. If we go, where even is the indicator tab? Okay. Right. If we go into indicators or if we even just look over here, okay, I have no indicators on here. Okay. No indicators on my chart, on my chart. Okay. The tools do not make the trader. Okay. Um, I hate seeing people fall into the indicator trap saying, Oh, this indicator gives you a hundred percent win rate. This indicator will make you pass a funded account challenge. No, it won't. Because guess what? If it did work like that, then every single person using that indicator would be a winning trader. Every single person using that indicator would be able to get funded. Are they? No. Okay. So uh, it's as simple as that indicators. Sure. Some people, okay. With a probable strategy and the right mindset, can definitely make money off of indicators. I'm not, I'm not discrediting, discrediting them whatsoever. Okay. I'm just saying that you guys think indicators are like the Holy grail. I thought indicators were the Holy grail for some time too, right? I use the RSI, the MACD freaking MAs crossing. Okay, guys, it doesn't work. I've been in your position before. Stop trying to do it. Okay. The best way to be able to understand market movements is to stop relying on something that you think will get you there quicker and actually do the job yourself, put the work in yourself, put in those hours on the charts and understanding how these candlesticks move, why they react off of certain levels that I've told you and showed you in previous YouTube videos, how to spot order blocks, how to spot liquidity sweeps, how to spot fair value gaps, how to spot equilibrium. Those four perfectly outline all the methodologies that you need in order to read a candlestick chart. Okay. Besides the base and foundation of just like knowing how candlesticks move, knowing basic trends. Okay. Oh, and how to spot break of structure. Okay. Those five, those are my five best videos on literally just how you guys can get started within being able to actually see and track market movements correctly using purely just candlesticks. Okay. I get DMS every single day on Twitter, on Instagram and on YouTube, people saying, Hey, finally got all the indicators off my chart. What you've been showing has actually worked. I've increased my win rate. Thank you. Okay. So it really is up to you whether you're trying to cop out and go with an indicator that probably won't make you profitable. Or if you want to take the time, put in maybe one to two months to actually understand how these candlesticks and these markets move based off of purely price action. Okay. And how price reacts off of certain price ranges. Okay. Pr certain price areas. Okay. Um, and it's as simple as that. Okay. Strategy really doesn't take that much. Doesn't take that long to learn. Okay. Almost every single person in my dis discord that is active within the chat. I go, guys, there's like four to five people within my discord that are already like, like break even traders after being not profitable. Okay. After like two months. Okay. And break even traders, that means they're one step closer to being profitable. And there's two to three people that have already DM me that said, Hey, don't need the discord anymore. I'm making money. I can show screenshots or I posted screenshots on my Instagram of people DMing me and saying, bro, off of literally just your free content off of just your YouTube videos, I'm profitable now. I've, I can make this my living. And I've had people DMing me saying, Hey, just pass my funded account challenge because of your videos off of purely price action. Okay. So if all of these people are doing it, that gives you guys no excuse not to. Okay. Um, another nice and short one. Okay. Next, um, in, sorry, in another, sorry, wait, I'm trying to think every other day I'm uploading another video. Okay. So I'm not going to upload a video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas. Okay. Um, but the day in the life in Aruba video will be dropping on the 26th. Okay. I'm super excited for you guys to watch that video. It's going to be pretty short because it's literally just the song length and it's just like videos from my trip, but it means a lot to me. Okay. Um, because I, I said it at the beginning of this video, I like, just like, the meaningfulness of that video in itself, even though it's not long and there won't be a chart portion of that video, that video just means a lot to me. So it would be, um, kind of just, it would, it would make me very happy. Um, if that video was just one that did well, okay. I know you guys are here for the chart portion of it. Um, and I get that, but I mean, it, that video is just like kind of a cul culmination of like, you made it. Um, and it means a lot to me. Um, if you guys like it, cool. If you guys think the editing is ass, I know. Um, but 
other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the 26th um, in that video, okay? And then we're going to keep pushing this content out to you guys. Hopefully, you guys like it. Um, that's about it, all right? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.